during Jordan September, and there were lots of people. We were quickly arrested. We were taken to the prison. I was sentenced to nine months. At the time, I was 13 years old. While in prison, I was subjected to all kinds of torture. The weapons that the Chinese guards used against me. And the suffering that they put me through. I still remember everything as if it happened yesterday. After being released, I joined another practice in 1992. I was 15 years old. This time, they sentenced me to three years of imprisonment. I and 13 other prisoners sang freedom songs in prison. As a result, our sentences were increased. My sentences were increased to six more years. Then, in 1996, I shouted slogans saying Free Tibet and Long Live the Kalina Dalai Lama. For these, the Chinese authorities increased my sentences to eight more years and put me in solitary confinement cell for six months. In 1998, the authority put up the Chinese block in our prison. We protest against this, and again our sentences were increased. My sentences increased by six years. This made my sentences to be 23 years in total. Due to international pressure by Tibet supporters everywhere, I was finally released on October 17, 2002. I had spent a total of 11 years in prison. I was 26 years old when I was released and flown to the United States for medical treatment. This is my story. This is the story of Tibet. This is the story of countless Tibetans still suffering today. I ask you to help them, just like you did for me. The Olympic Games is about to happen in Beijing. Normally, the Olympic Games is hosted in a standard country where human rights and freedom are respected. However, human rights abuse and violation of freedom is well documented. Yet China continues to rule Tibet with brutal and heavy hands. For example, the Chinese Communist Party forced Tibetans in Tibet to denounce our temporal and religious leader, His Highness the Dalai Lama. Even a display of Dalai Lama's photo leads to long imprisonment, severe treatment and torture. Therefore, I'm requesting you today to be the referee and say whether it is legitimate to have the Olympic Games held in Beijing. Thank you very much and Tibet will be free. Oh, did you feel?